this was not what I expected when I was going to come to university. This is way bigger than I, anything I could have thought of. Taking that ferry is always really exciting. It's that first step on your adventure out to the island and you know that this place is just waiting for you. I think that learning in the field is a lot more effective for me, at least, um, than just reading textbooks or sitting and listening to a prof. I'm more of a hands-on kind of guy. I need to experience it and do it first before I apply the knowledge. It's just this quiet place without the hustle and bustle of like the city and it's a great place to just think and do research. It's just really unique. It's a lively time. <laughs> it's always worth it, especially with such good weather here. It's, you can't really complain. The Salt Spring Island property of the Crow's Nest, we have the largest privately owned stand of dairy oaks of anywhere in D.C. Chris is super awesome. He genuinely cares about his students. Super great, down to earth. Tells us funny stories of like when he was a kid, funny stories of our other professors. He himself was a student at Trinity Western. Like he says, he never left. So there's no electricity, no running water, no septic system. So we had to build everything here right from the ground up. If you think about it, getting up at the crack of dawn and having a nice hot cup of coffee, watching the sunrise over Burger Bluff, it's a wonderful thing, and it's great if you love hiking, if you love being out in the outdoors, if you love studying an ecosystem that is so very rare in Canada, very few people get to do it, this is a great place to go. A lot of students don't even know it exists. It's probably one of my favorite places in the world.